This is we do. We do have eyes all over this thing because we are collecting so much data. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have the, the stuff here. We also have rockets on the other side of the country being launched. So again, studying that. Oh, look at that. That's the diamond, the diamond ring. Oh, oh, oh. We're not there, but I feel the energy just watching. Uh, yeah, so this is the because of the craters, the peaks and valleys of the moon. Uh, we're seeing the last bits that are just getting through, and now we're getting to totality. To, to, to chase down the shadow for as long as possible, keep up with it as long as possible. Exactly, the shadow is much faster than the plane. However, they can chase it for a while and get an extra two minutes. So uh, on the ground, we can only get four and a half minutes and they're gonna get six and a half for that plane. I love that they're waving. Oh, there you go, and now we're flipped. Now we're seeing the front. So again, they are in night. I mean, yeah, it looks yeah. very dark with only some light on in, in the horizon, yeah? Right, yeah, and that's what we'll expect uh, if wherever we see totality is, is the night sky is very dark. You might stars, um, and then you'll see like twilight all around in 360 degrees. What an amazing vantage point as well, my gosh. I'm very jealous. Kelly, are you jealous? I kind of feel like I'm jealous. Kind of a little jealous. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to, you know, see if I can make a faster plane so we can, you know, follow it all the whole way. Well, up above the clouds. So yeah. yeah. Sorry about the clouds. Exactly. <laughs> well, I just want to say a big thank you to the WB57 pilots and the whole team supporting them for that great view. That was awesome. Kelly, you know, you have a wealth of knowledge. For those watching, if you're interested in learning more with her, check out her and other experts featured in the Sun series of NASA's Curious Universe podcast. And that QR code will pop up on the screen, screen and that'll take you straight to the episode. Again, look at that double box we got there. We're showing you amazing views during this broadcast. A big thank you, actually, to the Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute, or SERVI, for providing the telescope views from us online. Yeah, the survey team down there, the survey team is based out of Ames, but it's a collection of, of teams across the country and across the world that are sort of studying the, the intersection of science and exploration, helping us get ready for our next trip with humans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, totality is actually about to end in Mazatlan. Let's keep watching our screen right now. For again, what are we watching for, Kelly? Uh, we're watching for the diamond ring effect. So that's when the first bright light is starting to see it on the side there. Um, so you're going to put your glasses on right now and if you're trying to leave
fun to learn about the science and actually see the first eclipse come uh, for uh, North America here. So thank you so much. All right, as you can see, there's a lot to learn about our sun and eclipses. So to explain it all in a really fun way for kids, NASA developed a clever game called Snap It. We have another QR code coming on your screen right now. Just scan that code, or if you're watching us on your phone, all you have to do is screen grab it, press on it later, and uh, you can check out that game. Also, the website, if that's easier for you, go.nasa.gov slash snap it. Okay, so NASA can predict the total solar eclipse's path to a high degree of accuracy because of a spacecraft that launched nearly 15 years ago. This same spe spacecraft is now helping our Artemis II astronauts to be orbiting the moon next year. NASA's next step in establishing a long-term presence on the moon is sending four astronauts to fly around it with Artemis II mission. Part of the crew's training has been to study images from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. The spacecraft launched in 2009 and continues to use seven instruments, including a high-resolution camera to help us learn more about the moon's surface. Because of LRO, we now know more about the moon's topography than any other planetary body in the solar system, including Earth. The Artemis II crew used LRO data and photographs learn how to identify lunar landmarks you'll see from orbit, and to seek out sites of scientific interest, like possible landing spots for future explorers. While helpful for planning Artemis missions, people back here on Earth also use LRO to predict the shape of the moon's shadow, or umbra, during total solar eclipses. The moon's shadow will change throughout the eclipse, depending on the lunar terrain and the elevations of observers on Earth. People may even see what looks like an arc of solar diamonds around the moon, as sunlight 